Welcome Walnut. I'm Lara, but you can call me Laz, your host for Walnut Wednesday. This is your reminder to be brave, be yourself, and know that you can make the world a better place just by what you decide today. Here, I'm going to share my weekly walnuttings with you on a Wednesday. Hello, Walnut. It is me, Lance, here for another episode of Walnut Wednesday. I hope you're having a wonderful week. This week, I want to share um, about my experience of the cabin in the woods. (laughs) Um, I alluded to it a little bit in um, the episode a couple of weeks ago with Kate, where um, my birthday present from Geordie um, as a person that does all the organizing and everything was a... wonderful gift way at a cabin in the woods with no agenda nothing I had to do or organize all sorted out by Geordie um which I received and experienced in full wonderful glory but I wanted to share about the the how powerful the brain can be right like the power of of your mind and um especially by being a horror movie person <laughs> um being out in the woods in the nighttime is just uh yeah quite an eerie feeling so um obviously i like a cottage in the woods is like my dream come true the most beautiful thing it was like really off grid but walnut and i couldn't talk about this till after i had been the the going to the um airbnb was literally like scenes of the beginning of a horror film where the couple goes into the cabin and then like they get like killed (laughs) or chased by the scary person or whatever happens um so it was like all the way out in the wop wops we had to go onto this dirt gravel road and everything and then there was like this last kind of patch of houses which would have been the closest neighbors and they were still really far away but those houses like I remember just one of them because we had to drive really slow because it was like a gravelly road one of them had like little gargoyles um statues out the front of the gate and stuff like that and because we were driving so slowly it was so weird and then Um, one time we went out for lunch so we had to go back along the gravelly road and there was another car going equally as slow on the other side and we just like passed them and it was this guy with like really curly brown hair like I don't know it was just the wet the way it must have been the speed of the cars it was just sort of like that panning kind of scene where you like look at them it's like oh my god that could be the murderer (laughs) like like, where was he coming from was he just inspecting my cabin because there's nothing else back down there you know obviously there is but you know like my brain went to all these sort of places I was like oh my god we get to the cabin, it is beautiful, there's a log burner, it's just cosy, little and warm, there's a spa pool, um, there's a little walkway, um, side note, which definitely had lots of little portals, I'm not going to lie, my little witchiness came out there, I was like, oh, that was interesting, anyway, um, but a little stream, you could, like, if, if you were really quiet, you could just hear the trickling of the stream nearby, and it had a little walkway to go, like, spot some eels and stuff, um, it was so beautiful it was so so beautiful and we had such a great great time we both sort of um even though he bought it for my birthday and we didn't take the trip till like early the following year um the timing was just so perfect because we both really needed like that break and that and that getaway and that time to just reset and recharge and not necessarily be on our phones um sleeping in obviously Geordie the projector needing lots of naps and things um it was just so wholesome and quiet and lots of birds big wood pigeons um all sorts of different birds it's all you could sort of hear um the spa pool I lounged around in wine all day long it was just stunning. But here's where the horror movie buff in me sort of comes out, right? So we had the log fire going, even though it was still quite warm, but it was just just made it so cozy, right? Um, so there were logs going, and when we went to bed, the fire was still on. Um, I woke in the night, and because I normally sleep with the 
the bedroom door open because it was quite small and obviously the fire was on. Um, but the, next to the bedroom was like the bathroom and it had a, just a full open window um, that looked out onto the driveway, and um, which is weird to have the shower there, but also we were in the middle of the nowhere, so even like – no one would come up the driveway anyway, but you could see up the long sort of driveway from there. Um, and I didn't know this, but there was a sensor light on in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, I heard a noise which sounded like a car door closing. And I absolutely was shitting my pants because then all of a sudden, just from that one small noise, I woke up, my heart's racing. And I was just thinking like of the movie funny games and just completely going to the, the most worst case scenario where I don't know if you've seen funny games or not it's quite an old old-ish kind of movie it was remade it's this one with um Naomi, Naomi Watts I think um where basically this family goes to a holiday home and then these two kids knock on the door um asking for eggs or something like that and they don't leave. And it's one of those movies that just builds and builds and builds and builds on tension and anxiety. And um, it's one of those ones that just makes you, like, riles you up uncomfortably for a really long time. Really, it's really good. You should watch it, Walnut. Um, it's not, like, super scary, but it just is interesting how you can – a movie can make you feel so so like emotional <laughs> um kind of like the movie mother i don't know with j law if you've seen that one um but just build and build anyways i was like oh my god like am i gonna have one of these moments and then i was like just go to sleep it's probably probably nothing and um and then the sensor light like i woke up because the sensor light flicked on um and because naturally it was shining through from the bedroom door from the the bathroom where the sensor light was like on top of like, out facing the driveway and I was like what the f and, and then so I was like in bed heart racing just listening listening and watching and listening and watching and eventually the the light turned off and I fell back asleep then I thought I heard the sound again like I must have gone back to sleep it must have been like a little while and then I heard the light turn on again and I nearly died inside while that and so it was this whole escapade of this sort of happening all night and I'm just like listening intently and then whatever. And I finally like mustered up the courage to like get up um, when the light had turned off and then like peep into the kitchen and the bathroom to like look up the driveway. And all I imagined was my worst nightmare was like another car like parked out on the driveway or like someone walking with like an axe up <laughs> the driveway. Like I really, my brain went fully there, right? It was <laughs> so tra traumatizing um and I'm like why do I watch all these movies uh, um so there was all that and I like peeped up and there was nothing there but like you can like obviously and then you think rationally in your head you're like nothing bad is going to happen to me there is nothing there but then you're like but what about in the movies when they think nothing bad is happening to them and it's there um so just to just to end the tension of this story, Walnut, I realized probably like when it was almost time to wake up in the morning after like getting tiny little split moments of sleep between terror and intently listening to sounds and imagining of um, some stranger walking up the driveway to try, try and like murder us. <laughs> imagining the slow pan drive down the gravel roads imagining where i would run to what i would do like all these sort of things um i realized the sound the scary scary sound that freaked me out that sounded like a car door closing was uh the wood burner it was a log just going doof um and falling um i realized that after hours and hours <laughs> and like stealthily creeping through the house at night time and looking to see if there's like something in the driveway. <laughs> it was the log burner. It was the log burner warner. But I just wanted to like share this like silly banana story with you because I just think it's so interesting like how powerful your brain actually is and where it can go. And another interesting fact as well, Warner, is like I told Geordie in the morning, like, the story in this sort of detail, right? Like, I was, like, telling him about how then, like, I crawled out and I was petrified and I was imagining this and doing that. Um, And then I finally, like, closed my story time with it being the wood burner. And he was like, oh, yeah, I thought that yesterday. And I was like, what do you mean? 
And he was like, I thought I heard a car door yesterday and realized it was the log burner. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Because I remember, Jordy said, I remember thinking like, what the fuck? Like, there's no one around. Why Why am I hearing a car door? Um, which he noticed earlier on, failed to tell me, and I probably would have saved me hours of um, not getting any sleep. <laughs> Um, but it was just really interesting how um I and maybe I don't know if it is a like a, a man and woman thing, but um one interesting thing that sort of Kate raised was like how we are always on guard and thinking of the next now. I thought it was also like because I I do like watching those kinds of movies, so I get those ideas already in my head. Um, but I wonder if it if that did cross Geordie's mind sort of at all whereas um I don't I don't think it it did he just thought really like logically literally we're in a cabin in the woods it's really nice and quiet we're getting a relax whereas I'm thinking logically I'm in a cabin in the woods I'm gonna relax um but in the back of my mind I'm like looking up the driveway someone could kill me what if there's a ghost (laughs) it's like I'm like thinking of all of these different things, right? So it's like, do you think, Walnut, and I'd love your opinion on this, do you think it is part of being that like multitasking, all the tabs open female brain of always planning for the worst case scenario or just always planning in general, like not being able to really fully sink in and relax in something because you've always got something on in the back of your head. Whereas I think we've talked about this a lot on a couple of different episodes, but how like scientifically um, a male is like, has like that tunnel vision of like just thinking of one thing at a time because like the cavemen had to just like go and hunt the prey. And so that was their focus. Whereas the, the mother cave women were like looking after the baby, making sure there's no like being on guard all the time for like predators and um not really much a lot changed <laughs> like, in in everyday life, right? We still like I feel like I'm on on guard for predators all the time. Even ghost ones <laughs> in cabins in the woods. But you know what I mean? Like I wonder if that's an actual thing. So I'd love to know if you if you like kind of have a similar story or you think the same. Um uh, because yeah, maybe there is like that difference in like catastrophizing um as Kate kind of worded it um things. Um because we are always, and when I say we, I mean as like women are always thinking of all the different things at once to be, um, be on that sort of, on that sort of alert to the point where I'm like stealthily crawling across my little cabin, think expecting to see um like a man with a chainsaw coming to murder me, or a car. I don't know. I was imagining just like seeing this car. It was like. Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibes versus funny game vibes. Like, and I was imagining someone like knocking on the door and being like, hey, just wondering if you have any firewood, like, or something like that. And then they're not leaving, like that movie. Oh, gosh. And so, yeah, me and Jordy, like, we're laughing about that a lot in the morning because he's like, no, I didn't even think of that. He just slept through. He just slept. <laughs> didn't even think anything of the funny noise. Like, he noticed it earlier in the day, but it wasn't that noticeable for him to say anything to me. It was just like, oh realized what the noise was cool (laughs) and even when he didn't know what the noise was he just went what the fuck and then carried on (laughs) instead of like like waking up in the night and making up all these stories oh my lord walnut all in all it was a really rejuvenatical wonderful little weekend getaway um but i just really wanted to come on and share with you it's not necessarily a walnutting but i just wanted to like give another example of how the brain can make us really snowball into um into these states of like of sheer panic like or of sheer joy and bliss like our thoughts are so important our thoughts can like change the whole like trajectory of our behavior our interactions everything right um and you you know people don't make those movies for no reason right like anyway I still like I still go ahead and watch them though don't I but um 
I just would love to know what your thoughts on this walnut. So tell me what you think, not only about like the like if you've gone away and if you think of like scary movies or scary things that could happen, but also if you um one are a woman and resonate with thinking of lots of things at once or don't. Um, and if you've got this a similar example where um your man was like I didn't notice and you're like oh my god I've been freaking out about this for the whole time um it's just an interesting thing to sort of just it's not even take away or whatever just to notice just to notice and see see what those kind of interactions are like because to me it it makes sense with that whole like tunnel vision thing versus like the multitasking thinking about all the things at once thing and leads down the rabbit hole of like why you know about the mental load and like carrying more and thinking about more and for me potentially also like being the organizer and falling into like roles of service where I'm an assistant or um that sort of thing right so like I don't know just an interesting share I wanted to share as my walnutting this week <laughs> my walnutting is also that I survived that I used like reason to try and like calm me down but sometimes also that doesn't work so just that really really awareness of how powerful my brain really is that I wanted to ultimately share is the power of the mind and what a scary bloody place it can be if you if you let it and um thoughts become things so have good ones is a quote that um I saw like a million years ago um but thoughts are are really powerful so I hope that you have a wonderful thought today I hope that you don't feel like you're going to be murdered (laughs) I hope if you're going on holiday you also are thinking of if you are thinking of the worst case scenario you're also thinking of the most beautiful scenario at the same time and really basking in the enjoyment of of um gifting yourself that time to just be yourself um so on that walnut have a happy walnut wednesday may you have no spiral worst case scenario bubbles for the rest of this day let's just close them off there logically you are safe you're beautiful you're fine um but i will talk to you next week and i look forward to hearing if you've had experiences that are similar to the cabin in the woods (laughs) Happy Walnut Wednesday Walnut. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.